Hello, I'm David Jeffrey, and in 10 minutes I'm going to tell you about my teacher diary study to apply ancient art of war strategies to professional development. Uh, the Art of War is an ancient Chinese military classic written by Master Sun Tzu. It uh, remains decidedly relevant in our contemporary world, and this is due to its Taoist based principles aimed at conflict resolution. The battleground for educators is one which relies on education, conflict resolution and problem solving, and certainly not on uh, confrontation. Uh, and a core principle of the art of war is candid self-knowledge. Uh, teacher diary studies are an effective means of acquiring such uh, self-knowledge. Undertaking a teacher diary study for me was very useful in understanding and applying uh, the the difference between an aesthetic understanding of the art of war and its practical application to myself as a teacher. So the art of war advocates judicious strategic planning and positioning for the avoidance of direct conflict. Sun Tzu said, a skillful strategist defeats the enemy without doing battle, captures the enemy without laying siege, and overthrows the enemy without protracted war. This makes the art of war uh, applicable beyond battlefields and to education, because teachers, English as a second language teachers like myself, are particularly vulnerable, given that we are working on foreign, in foreign countries, in uh, cultures and environments uh, that uh, are not our own. So we do need strategy, we do need negotiation and problem-solving skills, the foundation of which can be found in the philosophy of the art of war. In addition, as I said, candid self-knowledge is important. Sun Tzu said, know the enemy, know yourself, and victory is never in doubt, not in a hundred battles. So therefore, if you focus just on the enemy, well, you're 50% of the way there. If you focus only on yourself, you're just 50% of the way there. You, you need to focus on both. And teacher diary studies, well, they're personal accounts of experiences with the aim of finding new insights into professional development uh, through candid and thorough entries that are analyzed for deeper insights. Uh, teacher diary studies give teachers the courage to take the risks necessary to explore uh, new frontiers in their professional development. So when it came to using a teacher diary to apply the art of war, the first question to me was where to start with the art of war. The best place is in the first chapter on laying plans. Sun Tzu said, the general who wins the battle makes many calculations in his temple before the battle is fought. The general who loses makes but few calculations beforehand. And he outlined five important planning fundamentals. These are the way relating to moral influence, heaven related to time and change, earth related to terrain and resources, leadership related to command, and discipline related to logistics. So I'll go through each of the five fundamentals and illustrate where the teacher diary study was useful to me in applying them to, to myself as an educator. So Sun Tzu said, as far as the way was concerned, the way causes men to be of one mind with the rulers, to live or die with them, and never to waver. The way is the most important fundamental, yet it is the most often overlooked fundamental in all planning. Uh, and this is because the way is intangible, uh, largely uh, very difficult to define, uh, but the way is the living creed behind the flags, the banners, and the slogans of, of an institution, be it a military institution or be it an educational institution. Uh, the, the way goes way far, far beyond any affiliation. And the way to achieve it is through balance, harmony, sublimity, gentleness, and a great deal of patience. And teachers, I found through the diary, are a critical link in the transfer of the way, the vision and the mission of the administrators of the institution through to the students. Um, adversities for teachers are anything that come between a teacher and the teacher's ability uh, and chances to give the students nothing less than an excellent education. So that is the way. The second fundamental is heaven. Sun Tzu said heaven is yin and yang, cold and hot, the cycle of the seasons. Therefore they pertain to the variable and intangible elements of a battlefield. For Sun Tzu this was the weather. Therefore timing is very important here, and acceptance, endurance, and non-action is very important too. Move when it's profitable, stop when it's not. Sometimes it's better to take no action at all, because taking premature action will lead to one having to unravel a lot, which, uh, which is very time 
time consuming and very costly, uh, very strategic, very strategically costly. And also, uh, there are no one size fits all strategies in the art of war and in education, and it is not a good idea to repeat past successful strategies. Strategies must be determined by the unfolding events in the envir environment. So success will depend on foresight, and foresight will depend on foreknowledge, and foreknowledge will be, be determined by accurate and timely information in order to be spontaneous and not impulsive. The next fundamental is Earth. Earth is height and depth, distance and proximity, ease and danger, open and confined ground, life and death. So for Sun Tzu, uh, this uh, earth was the terrain and resources on the battlefield, the tangible elements on the battlefield, uh, very much related to paradox. Uh, take for example water. Uh, water doesn't uh, strike through a rock immediately. Instead, it, it goes around and it, and it adapts and endures to the rock. Eventually, through time, it cuts through a rock. Therefore, water teaches us the virtue of patience. And bamboo teaches us the virtue of flexibility. It will bend in the gale, but it will survive the gale. A big oak tree will be blown over in the gale. So flexibility is important too. Again, it's important to accept, adapt, and to endure situations, while at the same time positioning to ultimately take advantage. So we need 360 degree situational awareness and all the nuances that apply, and also to understand the virtue of yielding. And for educators, apologies are very a very good strategic tool uh, when they are due, and they should not hesitate in using apologies. Uh, the next fundamental is command. Sun Tzu said command is wisdom, integrity, compassion, courage, and severity. So the diary taught me that to be a good teacher, you have to be wise to make sound decisions through experience, credible to allow for trust through integrity, compassionate to build, build unity through care, uh, courageous to transcend the conventional through commitment and severe to ensure discipline through the appropriate punishments and rewards. So appropriate punishments and rewards, balanced punishments and rewards, not excessive punishments and rewards, because these will break the bond between a teacher and the student. Therefore, the teacher will not have the way if the bond is broken and, and will not be successful. So Sun Tzu said there are five pitfalls in leadership. Recklessness leading to destruction, cowardice leading to capture, a hot temper prone to provocation, a delicacy of honor tending to shame, and an excessive concern for subordinates leading to indecision. Well, the same applies to, to teachers and educators. Uh, we have to, we have to uh, look at these five uh, pitfalls and, and consider them very seriously. And uh, the last fundamental is discipline. Discipline, Sun Tzu said, is organization, chain of command, control of expenditure. Discipline binds the superstructure of the institution together uh, like glue, and it is the lifeblood of the institution. It is the speed that information is circulated. Through the art of war, the administrators of an educational institution are the military headquarters, and the teachers and their students are officers and their armies on the front line. And Sun Tzu said that an army whose senior and subordinate ranks share the same aspirations would be victorious. So in the same way, an educational institution where the senior and subordinate ranks share the same institutions would also be successful. And I'll leave you with the quote that Sun Tzu uh, made about the highest caliber of leadership. He said, he who advances without seeking fame, who retreats without seeking blame, he whose one aim is to protect his people and serve his master, this man is a jewel of the realm. And uh, thank you very much.